nagawa naman. Ang importante naman sa amin kasi i-represent ang Pilipinas. And sa akin, mas malaki lang yung pressure. Pero at the same time, masaya ako. Kasi nga, um, kahit ano nangyari, nandun pa rin yung pagmamahal ko sa sports. Na, mas nakita ko yung pagmamahal sa sports. And yeah. nga, ito nang... nang um, gold medal sa World Championship sa Bogota. Colombia, then, no? Yes, sa Colombia. Well, two weeks lang palang preparation mo, Julius. Paano ginawa nyo? Paano mo ginawa yun? Ang galing naman ang ano, training nyo. Hindi naman sa two weeks lang. Kaya lang may nangyari kasi nung, nung days before. Mm-hmm. Then, that's the reason. So, medyo naantala lahat ng preparasyon. Pero pinagpatuloy pa rin. Mm. Ito yung 2023 yung comeback ko eh. Mm. So, I have to still like, yung pressure sobrang taas and na, ipakita ko rin sa sarili ko na kaya ko pa. Kaya ko pang bumalik. Yeah. Um, maglaro para sa Pilipinas. Yeah. Julius, um, what did you learn about Heidi uh, being able to overcome this latest uh, challenge and win the world championship. What does that tell you about her? Well, uh, you know, I, I think I think you know um, it shows that her experience in this sport, her determination, uh, you know, it it's it, it shows. You know, she's a seasoned athlete, and yeah, that you know, even though I had to adjust the training drastically, um, mm-hmm. the injury it shows that she was able to overcome it despite. Um, you know, uh, also having to to overcome also like the elevation that was right. all the first, uh, during the world championship, like the elevation, the cold, uh, and also I think it was the time of the month for her too. So like everything just kind of oh, like oh wow, <laughs> yeah, it's 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 like the timing was bad, but I think you know it just shows the kind of athlete she is the, to be able Incredible. to. Over- to be able to yeah. to adjust, so that's that's great. That was amazing. Yeah, I will be moving up fifty nine, and not try. I will, I will do my best to qualify yeah. for fifty nine and of course um, win the gold back to back. Yes, goal. that's a goal. Wow, <laughs> that's a goal. <laughs> so and all of us, Vito, sa Play Try TV, kami ni Kenito, we're always supporting you, and thank you so much for giving us your time. And we are praying for a fantastic 2023 for both of you. Please keep in touch. Mabuhay. And thank you for always staying so dedicated and committed to giving glory to the country in weightlifting. Mabuhay kayo. Happy New Year. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you po. We have our superstar, Alex Ayala. Alex, welcome again to the show. Thank you for your time. Hi, it's Hello to everyone watching. Thank you so much for having me. I'm looking super fun. It's, it's just a great atmosphere. Yeah. Like the great fitness and to see all everyone's work ethic and it's such a professional environment. So it's a great um, it's a great place to learn for someone uh, young and with not as much experience as the others. Yeah, how awesome is that tennis facility in Melbourne, the Australian Open? Because I'm watching it now, and everything just looks so beautiful. What's it like being there? No, it's it was crazy. Um, you know, it's it's really top of the line. It's you know the best of the best, and uh, as I said, more than just the facilities, it's also the treatment, how they treat the players, and um, yeah the things that you're able to learn in that environment so everything put together is really it's really something you can't get anywhere else so um, what 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 are you working on what were you trying to improve on i know every aspect but specifically are you okay to share like what were your coaches working on with you to start the new year well i think well of course we were looking we were really looking forward and preparing the main goals for australia Open, but I would love to represent the country again, um, as long as it doesn't um, collide with any of the other, let's say, maybe the Grand Slams, um, then we'd have to really consider, you know, as I said, the 
process of choosing the tournaments can be really tricky, um, especially you know when it's clay season or or like grass season when it's when it's you know you really try to stick to one surface. Um, but we'll see. I have no idea when the Sea Games is gonna be yet. Um, so we have to check. We have to May six. It's May again. six. 17. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, but, I don't... but it's so far away. Anyway, I have 20 seconds left with you. So what is the New Year's wish prayer of Alex Ayala? Um, well, my wish for myself at least is that I can, I'm able to integrate myself more and more into the WTA circuit. And achieve a much higher ranking. Maybe make to the, how about making a main draw? Main draw for Grand Slam. <laughs> well, of course, that's the that's the that's the goal, you know, to get as far as I can. If that's in the main draw, then it's in the main draw. So hi, girls. Hi. How exciting is it that the FIFA World Cup shows is in the Philippines? It's crazy. It's the first time in history that it's going to be in this in our country. So we're so excited. I'm just so excited to see it. And of course, the World Cup is already super near. Yeah. You know, you guys are really preparing for that. And now that you see the World Cup trophy actually right here, it even makes it more real, right? Yeah, it actually makes it a little surreal. Like, I can't believe it's actually happening and that we achieved it. I mean, it's just amazing to bring hope to this country of ours. The Filipinas came out strong. They were determined. They showed a lot of hard play. Great football took chances, had the right timing, fantastic goal by Serena Bolden, and 1-0 for the historical win for the Philippines against Norway here in the World Cup. Unbelievable. Kind of like Stads was saying, um, he's very proud of us, and I'm very proud of the showing that we were able to put out there to the world, to the Philippines. Um, so very proud and just a good showing, but obviously you know, we didn't get the result that we wanted. So moving forward, we want more. We're hungry for our first win. Not everyone uh, nabibigyan ng ganito ng opportunity but uh, very tiring uh, yung pag-iniisip uh, ng sked pero yeah, uh, I think uh, yung ginagawa namin, mahal namin yung basketball, mahal namin yung ginagawa namin at syempre uh, mag-serve para sa bayan talaga mara, ano, isang malaking karangalan Arvin, anong pakiramdam? Ito mga kasama mo, puro mga all-stars kasi kang nakaradin sa mga all-stars uh, Masaya But you know, I'm really thankful that uh, binigyan nila ako ng chance to be yeah, part of this so nice. uh, very prestigious yeah. for me a uh, once in a lifetime experience for mm -hmm. me. Na uh, you know the World Cup will be will be playing here in our yeah. home in our house, de ba? So uh, I'm really excited. Siguro ko yung mga players also ko excited ako, mas excited oh, sila. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I think more than the excitement, uh, you know, based on experience, you really have to be, kumbaga may kasabihan na, you really have to be calm before, there's a calm before, right. this, before mm -hmm. the storm. Diba? Ayun yung kasabihan namin before na. Nandiyan yung excitement, eh. you'll be playing NBA players, you'll be playing the best of the best uh, in the world. You know, yung mga players siguro ngayon, yung iisip ngayon is really to be, to focus on the preparation, yeah. you know, playing in a big stage like that, especially you know, after how many years knowing that yeah. Filipinos are really crazy about basketball and you know the opportunity na binigay sa akin nung, nung time na yun, I really grab it and then you know the support also of my teammates and knowing that we're together uh, on that situation, whatever happens, diba? I'm sure pag nakita nila yung reception ng ng Pilipinas sa Philippine basketball, I'm not gonna be surprised if next World Cup will be here again. Oh, wow! <laughs> All right! Diba? Pag nakita nila yan, yung kung gano'ng ka-wild yung mga Pilipino oh, sa basketball. Yeah, 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 that's true. Yung that's fans. True. So, I'm sure this is not gonna be the, fir the first and the last. Uh, most of them ex-NBA players or ex-Euroleague players, so it's such a, uh, a big boost to my experience to play out there with that level of basketball and to bring it back here with high caliber players, I mean the, the guys who played in the PBA, Korea, NBA, we got Jordan, uh, we got Kai who played in Australia and Japan. Uh, it's a surreal feeling, you know, uh, it's a great experience for us to be 
to come together as a team and bring all of the experience that we've had. And for me personally, the Japan experience that I've had, um, along with everyone who played in the B League, would be a, hopefully a good help for the team. And this is going to be very, very special because we're going to talk to Justin Brownlee Jr. Say hi, Justin. Hey. And then we're also going to talk to Justin Brownlee's seniors, mother, Geneva. They're both in town and we can't wait to start talking to them. First of all, welcome to the Philippines. Is this your first time here? No, second. I came in 2019. And Mrs. Brownlee, may I ask? How was Justin as a boy? Did you ever think that he was going to grow up to be such a basketball hero? Yes, because Justin, it was basketball 24 7. <laughs> Even in the house, he don't have a ball in his hand. He always going around. That was our constantly. Basketball was his mentality. <laughs> and what do you think of your dad playing for the Philippines? Is that a good thing? Yeah. To me, it's kind of like a like an all star? Like the NBA, yeah, all star game. Uh huh. Kind of like that. Kabaya TV, wearing the Philippine uniform. How excited are you to be playing for the Philippines for the very first time this coming window? I'm uh, super excited. I'm just ready to just uh, get out there, enjoying uh, practices, um, enjoying the team, just enjoying the experience, and uh, just excited for the game, man. Super excited. Oh. They are legends of Philippine basketball. We grew up with them. We miss them. But so nice to have you on Plate Right TV. Of course, the one and only Ramon Fernandez and Francis are nice. I don't know. Uh, you must remember, I, I suppose basketball at that time was, was not basketball of today. It was today mm. more, of, more of strength, power, the, the, the way they train. Mm. So I guess... I don't know, we were just pretty good for our time, you know, I suppose. You know, uh, naturalized players, we were all local, right? Pero, you know, uh, Mon, Mon Fernandez played like a naturalized player. You know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and and by, by, the, by the way, by the way, he was, on, he was only starting his career. We were only starting our careers, you know? So... Yeah, but we did pretty good. And uh, we have our team huddle in our hotel room. So everybody was in the hotel room. And uh, Coach Tito Iduke and the rest of the guys were giving us a pep talk. You know? And this guy, I think that he was the treasurer, the late uh, Mamerto Miranda, suddenly asked us to focus, to close our eyes and focus on the game against the state and concentrate and tells us, I don't know if you believe these guys, but uh, just believe me, just listen to me. This all close our eyes. And then it started, we are going to beat the States. We are going mm -hmm. to beat the States. We are going to beat the States. We are going to be for about two or three minutes, no? Okay. <laughs> and, and Positive and affirmations. Behold, yeah. And lo and behold, uh, in the first, what uh, quarter we went all the way 20 uh, uh, the score was 20 all in the first few minutes of the game no Boy. the funny the funny thing is the following day he told us you see guys we just need had to concentrate more maybe concentrate more so we can go all the way up to the end of the game <laughs> <laughs> laban ng gandulo walang susuko Goval. Tama. Yun ang ano uh, niya sa akin kasi nakikita, uh, I think, nakikita niya ako the way I work, the way I talk to the players, and all the problems na pumasok sa amin. Hindi, hindi, kaya natin yan. Gan, ganun lang. Kaya natin yan. Kasi, you know, from accreditation, from changing of the players, kailangan masaya sila. Yun lang. That's, that's my job. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to the players. Ito ko na maitutulong natin na sa maliit na bagay uh, para makapaglaro sila yung talagang laro nila. Mm -hmm. Sabi mo kay mag-coach this is for the flag. Wow. You know, you know, okay. you know my boss, RSA, boss, boss Ramones ang really love the Philippines. You know? oh. So sabi niya, sabi mo sa kanya, para sa bayan at para sa, sa, sa flag ng Philippines. Mm -hmm. So I talked to Tim, sabi ko, you know, boss wants you to coach the national team. Mm -hmm. Eh talagang ayaw niya, no? Mm -hmm. Ang sagot niya, are you gonna be with me? 
Doon ang umpisa yun. Ah, okay. Okay. So sabi ko, yes, I'll be beside you, behind you, ganyan yun. I got your back. Sabi ko sa kanya. So kayo ang nag-order ng pagkain? Kami! Kayo ang nagdadala ng... Nagbubuhat ang bas, nagbubuhat. Pag maglaro na, practice, ay, kanya-kanyang buhat. Lahat! Paper bag yun eh. Kanya-kanyang taki pa ng ID. Kasi yung mga PTs natin na... Ilang PTs natin yun ha. Hmm. Hindi nila pina-accredit, hindi nila makapasok. Walang accreditation? Wala. Game one, wala kami PT. Pili. May injury si Brownlee, walang gumagamot. Okay. I was mad? Yes, I'm very mad. Uh-huh. That, 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 when mm, nangyari yun, no? kasi hindi ako ganang magtrabaho eh. Birthday na sa, si Vice Chairman na sa Tuktok, mag-isa. Uh-huh. Sa pinakatok, malap. Kaya siguro kami nga nanalo, sinasabi ko, malapit na siya sa langit eh. <laughs> Kaya sabi ko, sa, sa sobrang... Hikpet o oh, hirap na dumaan kami sa butas ng karayo. Mm-hmm. Uh, nakuha natin yung goal. Mm-hmm. What, what you're asking kung ano yung pinakagusto ko? Yes. For me, it's not about the position. It's about the passion. Uh, nag-coach ako, nag-player ako, nag-manager, na ganito. Pare-pare yung basketball eh. Mm-hmm. Kahit iba yung champion ako sa PSL, volleyball lahat. It's a matter of how you handle yung tao mo. Mm-hmm. How you handle like, to be, you know, kasi it's not about you're the leader, kailangan ganito. You tell them, yung leadership mo should rub na naghahanap na nga ako kung sinong pwedeng pumalit. Mm-hmm. You know? So it's not about the position. It's about how you work. Mm-hmm. You know? And that, um, yun ang gusto-gusto ko, yung challenge. Pag nagsa-challenge ako, talagang wala nang, wala, wala nang isip-isip yun. Trabaho na lang. Agree, but considering the circumstance, it was quite phenomenal. Yes. Really All right. right. Wow. By the I way, here, these balls. here are the instructions. In the, in the Asian games, because we were wondering, we, I remember we were we were talking about it, and we were looking at the BG65000. We were mm-hmm. wondering whether this is the women's basketball or the men's basketball, <laughs> and we found out that 65000 or the 5000, the BG5000 mm-hmm. was the men's, and the women's is like. 4,400 or something like that. Well, Coach Tim, and look at all this design and everything. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, it's only 1,200 of these balls were made. It's also got the name on it. Helped us and kept us going all the time was the support that we got from Al Francis Chula. That's right. Uh, he was on top of things all the way. When something was going wrong, he was going ballistic. I mean, it was, we didn't get this from the Chinese, or we didn't get that from the Chinese. He was in that person's face. He was in that person's face. And he was making sure that, you know, we just kept going on. That's something we didn't have to worry about, you know. Um, uh, we never had to feel like, oh, nobody wants us to win here, so we're not going to win. You know, Al Francis kept us from that. The Miss Universe is the Olympics of beauty. So it's really meaning top competition, the best of the best. How do you react to that? Well, it's it's my third time joining a pageant, so I'm very well versed on the experiences of different organizations, actually. But the kind of determination and dedication that you need to join any pageant is the same. Of course, different pageants will stand for different things. But yes, I really agree. It's really like the Olympics because you're training every aspect of your physique and your mental your mental game to really prove that you're worthy of representing the Philippines on a global stage. Siyempre, uh, ano namin, um, we learned from the game yesterday, we learned from our mistakes and um, that's where we get up stronger. So, yun nga, sabi na it takes two games to win the series. So, um, papractice namin yung kailangan namin gawin, uh, gawin yung dapat namin gawin para makabawi kami and para, siyempre, um, pupunta ako kukuha namin yung goal namin. First time nakapasok ng semis, ako with them. So, yun, masaya kasi rinabaho and uh, pinaghirapan naman namin. Hi, flying ka. I've been watching you. Yung mga lipad mo halos higher than the net na, di ba? Ang six time champions! Super good vibes. Welcome, Creamline Cold Smashers. We have Coach Sherwin Meneses, Eliza Valdez, Gia Morado de Guzman, Todd Carlos, a three-time MVP, uh, and Kyla Atienza. Welcome and Woo! super congratulations. Did you see F2 as a severe challenge sa inyong uh, uh, chase for a third championship under Coach uh, uh, Sherwin? <laughs> 
well, actually, the whole PVL was a challenge for us. It was a okay. severe challenge for us. So, kahit sino naman po yung makatapat namin sa eliminations, mas lalo na nung semifinals, uh, alam namin na pinaghahandaan pinaghahanda naman namin ng mabuti. Pero nung nalaman namin na F2 yung mga kalaban namin ng semis, I don't think naman na revenge po yung mindset namin or anything kasi that just makes the burden heavier for us. It's more of ano yung kaya namin i-improve uh, tapos na yung pass but at the same time meron kami mga pwedeng matutunan at ma-improve pa going into the semifinals and to improve also yung bid namin for the championship. Naging malaking bagay din po yung magkakasama kami ng matagal talaga kasi um, nandun po yung chemistry and also nag yung growth talaga nakita namin sa isa't isa mula pa nung unang pagpasok ko ano po yung mga naging improvements so naging mas okay po talaga sa amin like lahat po ng sistema nandun pa rin po hanggang hanggang ngayon walang problema 161.2 anong pakiramdam? Um, ready ready na talagang excited na ako sa laban ko talagang Yung timbang, walang problema. Talagang uh, yung iniisip ko ngayon, laban na lang talaga. Princess? Nervous ka ba? Hindi <laughs> naman, hindi naman. Question, prediction. Junior Marshall, sino mananalo? Siyempre, Junior Marshall. All right. Let's go! Gusto <laughs> ko, <laughs> gusto sabihin, kumpiyansa ka, mananalo ka. Una-una po, lalo na sila coach, una uh, nag-alala sila sa si coach, lalo na sa huling laban ko kasi yun nga, yung sa problema sa timbang. At uh, ngayon sabi ko, kung maganda lang talaga yung, yung ano po na hindi makumpiyansa na, na nung una kasi kumpiyansa ako na ah, kaya ko tong timbang na to kahit na malaki pa ako nitong week, uh, makukuha ko, makakaya ko pero Kinaya ko yung kunin, pero yung condition ko pa wala. Uh, para sa akin, uh, tulad ng sinabi nyo po na ano, lumalaban ako kahit sa ang bansa, uh, uh-huh. hindi naman po malaking factor sa akin kung kahit saan man yung laban. Ang uh, importante lang ay uh, sakto ako sa condition at saka sakto yung preparation sa training, kahit saan po pwede akong lumaban. Uh, bilang isang boxingero din, dapat uh, kaya mong kontrolin yung pressure. At saka, Opo, na darating po sa isip natin na dapat hindi po uh, darating ng round kasi yun nga, uh, uh, nasa lugar nila yung laban at uh, saka uh, pwede tayong uh, matalo kung darating sa decision. Yes. Uh, pag wala ka talagang hard work sa sarili mo, papakondisyon, papakondisyon hindi mo mararating kung anong gusto mong ano. Uh, yun, katulad ng sinasabi ko, madalas, uh, kulang yung talento pag hindi mo sinamaan ng puso. Eh, yung puso yun, yun hard work talaga. Yung dream mo na mag-PBA ka, kailangan magpalakas ka talaga. JJ Heltebrand. JJ, you've been around, you know, in your career. Um, what What is one thing that you like about the MPBL in terms of developing players? Um, I think the, the most important thing that I see is the the passion of the fans. Right. Grabe yung uh, home court. Uh, especially now in the playoffs. We just finished playing Batangas and May ano talaga yung advantage ng home court. Uh, it really gives them energy. Parang parang nasa PBA ko, parang Hinebra. Right, right, so, right, right. Um, pero far as developing the players, the MP Bill is a great league. There's a lot of great upcoming players in this league. I think that's overlooked. Uh-huh. And I think uh, more of a professional teams, uh, higher leagues should should uh, scout more into right. the P Bill because there's a lot of great talent here and. Um, it's a great, it's a great league, and I hope uh, Manny, uh, boss Manny, uh, can find a way to to make it even better.